come along for the journey as we explore and find beauty in the back roads of Arizona and Utah. We drive around 1,300 miles in seven days, and we witness some of the most amazing places from epic camping on the edge of the Grand Canyon to camping on scenic beaches and finding beautiful waterfalls in southern Utah. If you like to explore, escape, and adventure, then this full-length video is for you. Sit back, relax, and enjoy our journey of seven days. cooking and today we got some Colorado River seasoning. It's gonna go all over it. going on you guys so we are on the Colorado River we just enjoyed some quesadillas and we're actually gonna be on the road for six nights and seven days the content should be pretty epic every camp spot we have picked out is really really amazing if we can get to them um, we're planning on getting to them uh, my buddy Jeff from Adventure Squad team on YouTube poo -poo -pee -pee, poo -poo -pee -pee, poo -poo <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what my daughter does to me. On YouTube? <laughs> yeah, whenever I'm trying yeah, to Yeah, this guy's a total goofball. So, oh uh, total weirdo. Anyways, um, yeah, so we're here, Colorado River. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Um, stay tuned every Sunday. I post videos and we're going to get in the water because it's probably 85 degrees out here. So, see you guys later. Dude, the current is, it's ice cold, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh. How'd you get in? Huh? How'd you get in? Is he having fun smelling that fish? <laughs> so, so we're chilling, bro. Yeah. You didn't see that? Uh, you called in and sent you a letter? No, huh? they didn't ever send you a letter. Yeah, it's a lot cooler now. It's shady. Yeah. Bro, this part of my life. What are you saying? It's too loud. Trying to quote Instagram. <laughs> Here, just read my. Uh, just put, the, put in the subtitles. This part of my life. This part of my life is paradise. Wait, do that again, but turn around all the way and just keep your hands in the air. Oh. 
Yeah. Jeff. What's up, bro? What do you think about uh, this spot, bro? I think you're not gonna hear any uh, any of it from me. You gotta watch the video. Where's it at, bro? Somewhere along the Colorado River. That's a wrap. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. For go, got here to say. Alright, so we just moved uh, from the beach back a little bit because there was a straight sandstorm. So we're hoping being back by these bushes will uh, protect us from... Are you in your pajamas, bro? We've been doing this for like an hour and the weather's changing. I, I think the rain dance is working. <laughs> Look, there's the sand, there's the sandstorm, dude. Hey, I, I don't know what to say, but I might be a witch doctor. I don't know. You're like Thundercats over here. Dude. Oh! <laughs> this sandstorm, bro. I can't even get it on camera because I don't want to ruin my camera. Look, we've been fighting the sun in the day. We're fighting thirst in the day. Now we're fighting the wind and the water. What are you even talking about, bro? We didn't fight for thirst. You're saying we, <laughs> we were dehydrated today? We drank plenty of water. What are you talking about, Jeff? Okay, I was there you go. You're thirst. Ready? I only had one Slurpee today, man. You're doing it again, bro. I needed more than that. Okay, so you were dehydrated. I was dehydrated. And it's about a rain. Oh, check that out. That's yeah, beautiful. Well, we got a covering right here. Look at the raindrops on the, on the river.
Are you the chef? Yes. Are you the chef? I'm the chef. Chef Monica? <laughs> She's a jet <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the uh, overlander debriefing we're having here. So, first thing we learned is uh, that you guys you should know is that um, bring ski goggles, right? Yeah, bring <laughs> ski goggles to the beach because it gets sandy. And um, the other thing is bring shrimp. Shrimp is delicious. Bring some shrimp. Bring shrimp and salad with croutons <laughs> for sure and some night lights bring some night lights oh bring some shorts you're gonna want to get in there <laughs> and take a dip or, or not <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh dude all right so uh we're gonna have dinner and then we're gonna get in the topa topper Jeff's dude, gonna get in his. It's uh, perfect right now, guys. Like, you guys, if you could see this, it's, there's hardly any sun out right now, but this is this is where it's at. You guys really gotta get out. If you're not getting out, hopefully some of these videos are gonna inspire you because, man, it's 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 really, I don't know, it's like stressful even for me. I don't know about, why do you overland? I overland because, yeah, I like the outdoors. It's, uh, it's relaxing. Yeah, it's calming. It's a nice escape from busy LA life. Yeah, traffic, crowds, all that. You come out here, you're pretty much your own boss. You know, no crowds. Cook, relax, enjoy, no stress. I like the unpredictability part of it too. I don't know why, but you know, just being out in the elements. Feel, if you like being grounded and you practice this type of thing, man, if you go out, <laughs> there's no better way to feel grounded. Uh, so this is this is where it's at. And and I love just driving my truck, so I'm always down for any trip. I don't care of the distance or whatever. Um, I, if I got the time, I'm going to make it. <laughs> you were gonna, so, hey, we, we, uh, dude, you were going to drive at 1 in the morning the other day. Yeah. He was going to drive to my house at 1 a.m. to get there by 6 a.m. to do this trip, but we decided to leave... Uh, Wednesday today instead of the other day. Well, and then back to back then right after that got back on the road, right? Yeah So so it was a long drive. It's totally worth it. We yeah. got a lot more to do We got some awesome places coming up here. You're gonna love it. Uh, I'm excited Johnny planned the whole thing. So it's gonna be great the last time I planned something it kind of went pretty horrible, but um, no, no uh, when, um, on, on, We went out to um, Lake Tahoe going to the secret lake out there and um, yeah there was just so much snow this year that <laughs> the trail was not passable so we couldn't get there I wanted to put it on the channel to show everybody but um, maybe next time Beautiful morning, you guys. It's about 5.30, just waking up. Gonna enjoy this spot for a couple more hours, and then we're gonna be heading to Sedona, Arizona, to do some off-roading and uh, some more camping. So stay tuned for that video. I'm gonna enjoy this spot, and uh, I'll see you guys later.
What's going on you guys? We made it to Sedona, Arizona, and we're gonna hit this off-road trail right now. It should be fun. Doing a little, a little hike. Some trucks coming. Daisy, you hungry? You like Sedona? It's pretty cool, huh? Even better, bro. This is like butterflies in my stomach. It's hard to breathe, but it could just be the elevation. So 
good, John. Feel good. You gonna finish? Made it up with the kitchen sink. <laughs> I need an I Heart Sedona sticker. Yes. I bent the license plate a little bit. How do you do that? Yeah, you know the. How do you do that dance? Your own lines out here, man. That wasn't even a line. <laughs> So we are at the iconic devil staircase. It's steep, huh? Yeah. Nah, bro. This is cake. Right, you guys so we just had late lunch we're airing up the tires and we're gonna try to find a camp spot uh, unfortunately the area that we wanted to go to um, is closed but we're going to try to go around the back way and enter so we'll see what happens if we can't get in then uh, I do not have a plan B for camping, so stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Alright you guys, so we did not make it to the epic camp spot because the road was closed, so we are in the Coconino National Forest, at least I believe that's how you pronounce it, correct me if I'm wrong below, but um, yeah, we're tired from driving all day, so we're gonna call it an early night tonight, get some rest. Um, we just ate not too long ago. I believe it's like 6 p.m. right now. So we'll probably just do a simple snack for dinner. Maybe some cereal we were talking about earlier. But um, relaxing here, it's quiet. Are those crickets? Those are crickets, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna hang out and relax, get some chairs, hang out like old people, and we'll see you guys later. Oh, I'm convinced Daisy loves exploring as much as her mom and dad. Hey Daisy, do you love exploring? Daisy, say hi to YouTube. Ooh, look at that reflection, you guys. Also, let me guys know, let me guys know, I'm obviously tired. Let me know if uh, you notice a di difference in my video quality. I'm now shooting with a Sony camera and I'm super thankful to have gotten it. And um, yeah, let me know. Just let me know. Brand new shoes goodness 
it is hecka muddy here. Daisy, you ate your food? Daisy's eating dinner? We actually just had our leftovers from the Mexican restaurant. Now wave to the camera. Bad if I'm out here, but I'm on my phone. <laughs> Three. Gonna be a good day, you guys. So, an epic camping trip calls for epic bagels. Epic. Dave's killer bread, bro. Alright, you guys. So we're waking up here, I believe it's about six in the morning. Um, today we're gonna head to Horseshoe Bend, go check it out, and then find a camping spot. I believe our camping spot's gonna be overlooking the Grand Canyon. It should be really, really amazing. Um, the trip's going good so far. That was night number two, this is day number three. Let's get into it. You guys so we made it to Vermilion Cliffs National Monument and we are going to drive closer to the Colorado River and hopefully find this really epic camp spot I think I got it nailed down on the map so stay tuned for an epic location we're excited are you having fun bro got the bad hair day but that means it's gonna be it that means it was a good day yesterday so can't complain. All right.
All right, so it might be kind of gross, but we haven't showered in three days. We've just been taking diaper wipe showers. So Jeff set up this awesome water jug and we are gonna take a, a bath here. Overlooking the Grand Canyon, it's gonna be a first for all of us, I think, right? Yes. Hopefully so, people Earth isn't taking pictures right now. It's gonna be refreshing. Have you ever been somewhere so beautiful that words can't even describe it? This was one of those places. Honestly, when we first pulled up to the location, I couldn't believe how massive the canyon was and how far down the Colorado River was from where we had parked. see the many different layers in the soil as you look at the canyon walls. Each layer looks so different, it's almost as if each layer represents a different period in time. Scientists do estimate the canyon may have formed five to six million years ago. That amount of time is even hard to fathom. All right, you guys, it's 8.30 p.m. We are going to uh, enjoy our lentil soup and sausage and bread. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to tune in Sunday morning at 7 a.m. I'll post another video. Tomorrow, we're gonna head to Zion National Park. That's the plan, at least. So I will see you in the next video. Later.
What's up you guys? We're waking up here at the Grand Canyon. We're kind of close to the North Rim, I would say. Um, if you haven't seen the previous videos, this is day four? It's day four of our seven day adventure. We're doing six nights road trip, mostly in Arizona. We're gonna end up in the southern part of Utah for one day or two days, one night. Uh, yeah, it's really beautiful out here. We're enjoying some cereal. I think we might make some steak quesadillas for breakfast or something like that. So hope you guys enjoy today's video. What does that noise mean? Nice and crunchy. What I is thought that? I was gonna taste a little burn, but. Quesadilla? No, I'm eating it this way, so it's a taco. So now I got four on you, dude. I'm in the lead. All right, you guys, we're gonna finish up these quesadillas and then hit the trail. Grand Canyon tacos. Grand, Grand Canyon tacos. We'll see you guys on the trail.
safe traffic where we don't have any reception. What's up, you guys? So, we are in Zion National Park. It's my first time here. It's Jeff's first time here. I think we might do a hike. It's been raining. The drive over, it was actually pouring and hailing. But, um, yeah, we want to do the Narrows hike. We actually, me and my wife forgot our water shoes, so we went and bought some. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. So, stay tuned. Super touristy here. Big change from all the spots we've been already. But, uh, it's really beautiful here. And no drone zone. We didn't make the rules. Yeah, no drones. So, all right, see you guys. Like the floors are gonna get out. Yeah. This is so cool. <sighs> Pretty cool. Alright you guys, so we are just outside of Zion on the Virgin River and we're going to camp here tonight. We are pretty tired, so we're probably going to call it a early night. If you guys saw the last video, we were at the Grand Canyon. We stayed up a little bit late, burned a few bundles of wood. Tonight we're going to have a simple meal, we're going to have a cup of noodles and some sausage. Polish sausage. Hope you guys have enjoyed the adventure and I'll see you guys shortly.
So it's probably hard to see, you'll see in a minute, but I just cut up some chicken, bell peppers, and onions. Actually, the sausage, the sausage that I had smelled bad, so if we're going with chicken, we're gonna add this into the noodles that we have. Throw the onions and the bell peppers right on top. Alright you guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you've enjoyed the last few videos that I've been posting on Sundays. Today was super fun. We woke up in the Grand Canyon, drove through Zion National Park, visited a ghost town, made some awesome noodles for dinner, found this awesome camp spot which is on BLM land and it's about eight o'clock right now. The sun will probably be fully set around 8.30. We're gonna get in bed. We need sleep. If you guys enjoy my videos, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment below, hit the like button. What's going on you guys? So we are waking up here in Virgin, Utah. We've been on the road for five days now. If you haven't seen the previous videos of our adventures and all the places we've stopped, make sure you scroll back and watch my previous videos. Today we're gonna go explore a trail and there's supposed to be a really cool waterfall so that's pretty awesome. Um, this morning we're just having a simple breakfast, some bagels and honey, and I think Jeff's going to make some quesadillas again. So thank you guys for tuning along. If you guys like the videos, make sure to leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the trail.
Jeff notified me on the radio that his drone was down. Here's him going to rescue his drone. He got his drone, and we're back on the trail in no time. So we made it to Tokerville Falls and this place is absolutely amazing. I'm super excited. I'll show you guys some video in a second if I already if I haven't already. on the 
shattered. <laughs> Alright, tell the people, what's, what's for lunch? Stickers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, tell the people, what are we having for lunch? I packed this really special for these guys, uh, Johnny and his wife. Uh, he actually had fresh vegetables, which is clutch. But um, we're doing uh, Grand Canyon tacos. These are gonna be kind of like fajita style. because my phone got red. All right, so hopefully you guys can hear me, but uh, we were flying drone right now, and I don't know what's going on with the signal here, but we're both having uh, connectivity issues losing RC signal. It's super windy. I'm gonna move the camera over here. Okay, so second story is a big gust of wind blew and Jeff's chair is about to fly over up the cliff and I slammed my car door to go get it but what was inside my car door is my drone remote so this is I tried to I, these were all busted out I popped them in see if maybe it would work but yeah this is busted good thing uh, you've been watching every video on Sunday um, tomorrow night is going to be the last night of our six night seven day expedition we'll call it so um yeah i'm glad it i did this now and not in the beginning of the trip so tokerville falls is an absolutely beautiful place i mean where else can you camp right next to a beautiful waterfall like this although it was busy during the day being a weekend when the evening hit the crowds left and we had this entire place to ourselves.
miso ramen for dinner. Super easy. Overlanding. What does overlanding actually really mean? Is it like truck camping or car camping? I'm not too sure, but what I do know is that I like exploring the outdoors. I like hitting new trails. I like spending quality time with my friends and my loved ones in beautiful places. If you've been watching my weekly videos, then you know we have been on an epic overland trip. We have been driving through Arizona. We started camping on the Colorado River. We went to Sedona. We camped on the edge of the Grand Canyon, and then we went into Southern Utah. And now we're here at Tokerville Falls, which is an absolutely beautiful place. It's Overlander's paradise. If you haven't been here, you need to go see it for yourself. But today will be our last day exploring. And as I edit this video, I'm actually kind of sad because I really enjoyed filming these videos and I actually really love editing them as well. This last spot is a Grand Canyon overlook and of course the views did not disappoint. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video as we explore and camp in the great outdoors. guys so we're leaving the trail going the opposite direction whoa opposite direction of the way we came in and there's a bunch of river crossings so I got my water shoes on we're gonna scope it out because they're pretty deep we've been right here kind of talking about whether we should go back the other way and uh, we want to ask you guys what do you guys think should we do all these river crossings or should we just go back the other way I think it's doable um, so this line if we take it it's only about two feet deep the rocks got a lot of good traction and the currents not very strong if we take this line right here I think that I think I think that's definitely doable Jeff's actually being serious for once <laughs> 
right. I think we're gonna we're gonna do it. so after a bunch of water crossings um, instead of taking the main road out of here uh, we took this little offshoot and it's actually been pretty fun there's some good steep sections like this section we just came down right now So we just crossed into Arizona from Utah and we're going to take this dirt road almost four hours and about 75-ish miles um, down to this Grand Canyon overlook. So it should be pretty awesome. We're airing down the tires right now and then we'll be on the way. So stay tuned. Trumbull Schoolhouse. There it is. I'm gonna leave a couple Johnny Taco stickers in here. In the bell.
Jeff, what do you think about that view? Oh, this is just B-roll. <laughs> oh, shit. Just B-roll? Yeah. Nah, okay. Grand Canyon tacos? Dude, Grand Canyon tacos every single night. Let's go. Tonight is very windy, so we are going to be doing something simple. We're going to do some miso ramen with some sausages. Everything's going to be grass fed. And as a side to the ramen, we're going to do some grass fed organic burgers. Maybe some, uh, I'm going to do a triple burger myself. So. Hey guys so it officially it's starting to rain this is like you know like fan special I was the first to comment on a video and I got invited on this trip <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's raining a little bit out there rain and we got like 30 mile an hour gusts maybe 25 but feels like you know with the sand it feels like 35 um, sun's going down yeah. we're ready to eat these burgers and then call it a night dude this place this is nice topo topper is nice topo topper is nice you heard him it's bright in here so i have to wear this hat like it's just <laughs> this is like it's a heater in there with the light so it's like it's really bright
Dizzy. Dizzy, where are the squirrels? Jump. What's up you guys so we're waking up here at the Grand Canyon uh, this is it this is the end of our week-long road trip it's been really fun but man the Sun's coming up right now I don't even know what time it is it's probably like 530 or 6 um, but the Sun's about to peek through the uh, the mountains over here it's been a fun trip I really hope you guys enjoyed the last month and a half of videos um, like I said earlier if you guys didn't watch the uh, previous videos go back and watch the previous five videos um, that'll be the start of our week-long road trip we started in Arizona camped on the Colorado River and then we went to Sedona it's there in the National Forest and then we went to another Grand Canyon spot which was absolutely beautiful and then from there we went to well we drove through Zion National Park and then we camped on the Virgin River in Utah and then from there we went to Tokerville and we camped there at the falls and that was really 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 awesome and now we are here at the Grand Canyon again so we are on BLM land so yes you can fly drones anyways I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful morning so see you guys I truly hope that my videos inspire someone to go out and camp in beautiful places like this I mean you really don't need anything fancy although a truck camper does make it a lot more easy you could totally do it with a camper shell and a sleeping bag leaving this beautiful Grand Canyon overlook was pretty hard because we didn't have the next epic camping location to look forward to. We were going home. But at the same time, we were happy to be leaving on our way to our cozy beds in a nice warm shower. Again, I hope my video inspired you guys to go out, make a plan. It doesn't even have to be for six nights. It could just be for one night. And let me tell you, the memories that you'll make are priceless. And that's what makes these camping trips so much fun.
All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna enjoy this bagel with honey. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you guys like the video. So we're gonna get out of here right now. We've been on the road for a week and we're gonna go home, sleep in our beds and um, take a shower. So the Topa Topper treated us really well. Um, the Hess mattress is pretty comfortable. The sink that I installed in the truck is awesome. It's nice to wash your hands or wash your face. It's nice to have a, a spare tire trash bag on the back of the truck because people litter and it makes it really easy to just pick up trash like if you see. Like yesterday, we were driving up to the, uh, the falls and there's a fry container on the ground, picked it up. Beer can container on the ground, picked it up. So it makes it really easy. Uh, what else? Diaper wipes are good if you want to take a little diaper wipe shower or a bath or whatever. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to bore you guys. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my videos, and we'll see you in the next video.